Yeah. Okay. Being as he so far has not, you know, put uh, he, when you're saying something like this, usually you will, uh, if it's true, you would put say, and he had this to say at the end of his video, and then play the clip where it's where he said that. And whenever somebody just says it instead of playing the clip where he says it, that just makes me just think, hmm, something's not quite right here. But I'll entertain the idea that he did say that, and that is. It kind of is because, um, he, you know, if you make a video against a YouTuber, you know, you're disagreeing with them. Even politely, if you politely disagree with them, your their fans are gonna flag your video to all hell. But you know, it's just like it. That is true. You know, it is true that if somebody dislikes your video, dislikes your video when you make a um, video about another YouTuber, is probably they're probably not going to be your fan, and probably going to be the other YouTuber's fan, and probably uh, heard about your video through the grapevine because you know you made a video about their favorite YouTuber. Oh yeah, and about the opinion a bit. Uh, there, there are quite a few angry fans out there which can't form a simple sentence on YouTube sometimes. So to say all of them can, you know, arguments are invalid is a generalization. But there are certain t fan, you know, crazy fans out there that are like that. Again, like I said earlier, if uh, this would have been said in the video, like he said, he would play the clip where uh, you know, it would, he said it, and he, by all means, prove me wrong, he could have like, said it on Facebook where the video was above it or whatever. You know, it's just like, if you can prove that it was Velocify who said it on like YouTube, not, well, yeah, YouTube, obviously, definitely. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever, and prove that that was a real Velocify and not just a fake account made by people who uh, want to defame him, to, you know, just simply defame him, like I said. And it's also apparently okay for Velocify to call people that gen disgusting people and that they should not play Pokemon. Pokemon, awesome, happy-go-lucky, whimsical children's game, and you have to fucking cheat in it. You are fucking disgusting. Okay, that is a bit of an extreme opinion, but it's uh, you know it's uh, you know, he, that's just how he feels about it because I like I said I don't really agree with people cheating because I have heard the defense that people don't have the time to breed it up, breed everything and all, and it's just like then don't play the game. It's like if you would if you're not if you don't have the time to pl get good at Modern Warfare 3, you're not going to defend them cheating in rocket launchers, infinite ammo, clipping through walls. You're not going to defend that now, are you? Again, we're trying to insult, like I said. 
this is a very uncivilized thing to do. Well, not even uncivilized. Un... Unbecoming of somebody who wants to get their idea across. If you want me to send it, if you want to send me a link to his videos, I'll have a look. Maybe come up, uh, maybe do a video on it, but maybe, maybe not. Right, I know what he's talking about, yep. Well, I know how shinies and eggs work. If, uh, right, when you breed an egg, it has a, uh, uh, it, when it hatches, whether or not it's shiny will be, uh, um, will uh, be linked to your trainer ID as well. So, if uh, two people hatch an egg, the exact same egg, so say you clone an egg, and then two people with two different uh, t trainer IDs hatch those eggs. They're not. T or they they may or may not be shiny. Shiny, you know, it depends on if the ID matches up with it being shiny. Now, so to say to breed an egg that uh, is uh, that is uh, able to become shiny once a trainer with a certain ID hatches it is cheating is a dilution of the word cheating. This is not using any out, you know, outer, like, there is not using a website, it's not using a action replay, it's not using a whatever uh, to modify the save state of your game from how he is making it sound. So, no, that's not cheating, that's uh, using the, the game mechanics to, you know, it's using the game mechanics. It's like, that's how the game works. So, um, one minute. Uh, from the looks of that, it just tells. I think it just tells you whether or not the egg is going to be shiny. Let me just take another quick look at it. So, the program is Insta check. Insta check. I think I get what it is. It uh, takes your trainer ID and then the egg that you have in your game, and then uh, it, and it will tell you if that egg is going to be shiny if you hatch it. So that's not using an external device to uh, edit the game. I guess you might be able to edit it with it. it really if I didn't really say anything about editing it, but that does not look. Like it was editing the game. <laughs> 